And I heard another voice from heaven say, come out of her, my people. Right, come out of her traditions, such as what? July 4th. We were still in slavery when, when uh, they got their appendix. We were still in slaves. Keep going. That she be not partakers of her sins. That she be not partakers of her sins, because America teaches us sin. Thanksgiving. Right, they teach us to break God's laws. They teach us to eat pork, uh, crawfish, crabs, lobster, oyster, all that. They teach us to uh, celebrate Christmas, but that's against the Bible. Exactly, they give away hair and free the church. So God is saying, come out of her, my people, right? And that you receive none of her plagues. That you receive what? None of her plagues. Because destruction is coming to America. This place called America is going to get destroyed with nuclear fire. That's God's judgment upon, upon America. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. I see you watching the videos. I see you watching the classes. Why you not subscribe? Subscribe today. Click the link below, all right? Don't miss out, Israel. Shalom. Conform to this. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, according to the Bible, is only coming back to save the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. You are the biblical Jews, according to the Bible. And we're going to prove that Christ is coming back to redeem you. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1. Verse 21, and you shall bring forth a son. And you shall bring forth a son. This is the angel Gabriel speaking to Joseph. Right? And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Uh, angel, angel is telling him, hey, you're going to call his name Jesus. Right, right. For he shall save his people. He shall save who? His people. Christ is only come back to save his people, the Israelites. Go ahead. From their sins. From what? From their sins. From their sins. Not all flesh of the earth, he's come back to save his people from their sins. So who are the people? Uh, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. So, we got to come back to God's law. And y'all know about the Sabbath day? Yeah. Shabbat, which is today, right? Yeah. How we keep today holy? How we keep the, the Sabbath holy? By keeping it holy and, uh, let me see. Keeping it holy. By keeping Keep it holy is doing his will. Right, and, and no work. You say no work, that's no one work. way, that's in the scriptures, we'll get that for you. Yep. No work, according no to the scriptures, go ahead. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. God said what? Remember the Sabbath day. So we're reading in the Ten Commandments, and he's saying remember. Because yeah. we've been taught, we've been forced to forget the Sabbath day. Yeah. Through slavery, we've been forced to forget God's Sabbath day. Yeah. So that's why he's saying remember, remember, come out of remembrance of the what? Remember, remember the seventh day uh -huh. to keep it holy. Right. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Right. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right. So he said, but the seventh day, which is today, this is the seventh day of the week, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Go ahead. In it thou shalt not do any work. Right. So just like you said, on the Sabbath day, we're not supposed to do any work. Now, right? Work. Right? No work. It's not work. It's so, not work. It's deliverance. It's, uh, I'll pray. That's why we are here. So, you said no working. How else? Or what are the other laws pertaining to how to keep the Sabbath day holy? You said no working, which is correct. What else? Keep it holy. Yeah. You gotta keep it holy. So, my how? You, oh, you, like, oh, you gave an example, no work. That's right. exact. That's a good per, uh, good uh, uh, example. So, what's another example of how to keep the Sabbath day holy? What's another law Pray. pertaining? Say again? Well, it's just praising the Most High. Mm, praising uh, the Most High. Really? Yeah, that, that is that is a part of keeping the day holy. Go ahead. Wow. We're gonna give it to you. All right. Keeping all his commandments. Keep his commandments. All right. So remember, you said no working. Right. Can we cook on the Sabbath? Can we cook? You know where I have my food prepared on Friday and ready for Saturday. Good answer. So, 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 so the question, the answer to the question, can we cook on on the Sabbath? I don't even know. I believe we can. You say you believe we can? But I know he did. He also said to prepare yourself for the Right, right. That means take care of all the things before yes, the Sabbath. Right. So we're going to read it to you. All right? right. 35 and 3. This is the book of Exodus chapter 35 and 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation upon the seventh day. Read that one more time. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation upon the Sabbath day. That kindle no fire meaning no fire to cook for, on a Sabbath day. 
So you gotta prepare all our food the day before the Sabbath. So on the Sabbath, there is no cooking. We're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath. Y'all follow? So no working, no cooking. What else? Can we buy and sell on the Sabbath? You said no? You sure? You positive? All right. And you're exactly right. Let's get it. Me and my son. So, no working, no cooking. That's it. That's according to the scripture. So give me Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 21. Nehemiah 10, 21. No working, I'm stupid, no buying and selling is in the scripture. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 21. All right, so um, no cooking. So y'all been doing good then? Because you got to prepare your food the day before. Now let me ask you this, when does the Sabbath start? It starts. Down how long you been watching sis how long i've been watching I, I how long i've been watching oh you've been okay you've been a good teacher i'll praise but you got to do that proper example with the marriage papers all right all right nehemiah chapter 13. this is the book of nehemiah chapter 10 verse 30, 10 verse 31 and if the people of the land bring way of any fiddles of the Sabbath day to so Sabbath. So now we're going into buying and selling. It's okay. Nehemiah 10 31. Go ahead. And if the people of the land bring aware of any vehicles on the Sabbath day to sell. So if the people of the land bring aware or anything to sell on the Sabbath day. Go ahead. Yeah. That we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. That we will what? Not buy it of them uh -huh. on the Sabbath right. or on the holy day. Right. So on the Sabbath, no buying or selling. So we, we got no working. No buying, no selling, no cooking. There's one more we got to do to keep it holy, which is what? We got to congregate. We got to congregate on the Sabbath day. You got to congregate. Give me that, Leviticus 23. Congregate on the Sabbath day, verse 2. So Y'all got to keep these things in mind because this is how you keep it holy. If you're not, you're not keeping it holy. No working, no buying, no selling, no cooking. And this is the fourth one we got to congregate. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 23, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. Unto who? Speak unto the children of Israel. Right. And say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord. Right. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Holy what? Holy convocation. Go ahead. Even these are my feasts. Right. Six days shall work be done. Uh -huh. But the seventh day. But the seventh day. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. Right. And holy convocation. A what? And holy convocation. God said it's a holy convocation, meaning a holy gathering. This is the day we're supposed to uh, gather on, not Sunday, which is the first day of the week. Our slave master taught us Sunday. According to God, we're supposed to do the Sabbath day, the seventh day, congregate. So, y'all got transportation? Yeah. You do? All right. So, we got a school in Cleveland. So you got to start congregating, all right? Take us with what, like 50 minute drive from here? Hour, yeah, about an hour. About an hour? Okay, okay. Right, right. So these are laws we got to do to get back to get eternal life. Give me all Revelation 18 and 4. Yeah. Revelation chapter 18, yeah. verse 4. See, I have any questions so far? Oh. Any, any questions so far? Uh, no? Mm -hmm. 
Alright, check this out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Read that one more time. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. God is saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out the ways of America. Come out of uh Sunday church, Sunday church worship. Come out of Christmas. Christmas is against the Bible. Yeah, that's we're not supposed to be doing that. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her spiritually. Right? Come back to the Sabbath day. Come back to wearing a dress and a skirt. Right. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people. Right. Come out of her traditions, such as what? July 4th. We were still in slavery when, when uh they got their appendix. We were still in slaves. Keep going. That she be not partakers of her sins. That she be not partakers of her sins because America teaches us sin. Thanksgiving. Right. They teach us to break God's laws. They teach us to eat pork, uh, crawfish, crabs, lobster, oyster, all that. They teach us to uh, celebrate Christmas. But that's against the Bible. Exactly. They give away hair and free in the church. So God is saying, come out of her, my people, right? And that you receive none of her plagues. That you receive what? None of her plagues. Because right, destruction is coming to America. This place called America is going to get destroyed with nuclear fire. That's God's judgment upon, upon America. Go ahead, keep reading. Which is Babylon the Great. Where you was at? Go back, where you was at? Revelation 18 and 4. Keep on reading. Right, so this is, a, this is why it's important for us to come back to our true identity. Because if you don't know who you are, you don't know what's required of you, right? Keep going. Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. Talk about the sins of America has reached unto heaven. Go ahead. And God has remembered her iniquities. God has what? Remember her iniquities. Right, God has remembered what America has done to our people. He didn't forget. I know they say, I'll forget it. That was 400 years ago. Don't worry about that. But God said, no, nah, I remember. I remember that. Keep going. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Do what? Reward her even as she rewarded you. The scripture God is saying, reward her to my destruction. The same way they did to us, we're going to do it to them. That's in the scriptures. Keep going. And double unto her double according to her works. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. So America's going to be utterly burned with fire. In order for us to get delivered out of destruction, we got to come back to God's commandments. we got to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right? we got to come back to our uh, true um, holy days according to the scripture, Passover, Feast of Tabernacles, Feast of Dedication, also known as Hanukkah. That's the days we're supposed to be celebrating. Right, the new moon. Y'all know about the new moon? Right, the new moon. We got to keep that. That's a, also a holy day. That's when uh, the, the so-called full moon. That's the new moon in the scripture. Give me a, what's that? Psalm 83. Let's read the scripture about the new moon. Psalm chapter 83. Because our people don't know this because our these churches, when you think about the Baptist church, the Baptist church, the Catholic church, the Methodist, Sam the Adventist, Jehovah Witness. Who started all those churches? From what people? Uh, Roman, for real. Our, our slave masters, yeah. our oppressors started all those churches. That's uh, why what we're teaching, they don't teach that to you. Uh, they don't teach you Christ is black. Why they come from Roman? Yeah, they don't teach you to keep Feast of Tabernacles. Right. They don't teach you to keep uh, Feast of Dedication. Right, Good. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 3, verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and that the, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Read that one more time from verse two. For lo, thy enemies make a so thine enemies, thine enemies, God, the enemies of God, which is the other nations outside of the children of Israel. Go ahead. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. And they that what? And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. For they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against the children of Israel. How do they do that? By destroying our nationalities. That's one way of crafty counsel. 
Instead of calling us Judah, they call us American Blacks. Exactly. Instead of Benjamin, they call us West Indian Blacks or, or uh, Jamaican. Instead of calling us Levi, they call, call us Haitians. Instead of calling us Ephraim, they call us Puerto Ricans. That's crafty counsel. Instead of showing that Christ is black, they show us Christ is white. That's crafty counsel. Blue eyes. Ag right, against our people. Because Christ is black according to the Bible. Did you know we that? used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.